We did pick up on some sunshine here in the Delta, but the clouds have begun to build mostly up towards the north and portions of Arkansas, where we are tracking some decent amount of rainfall and they have issued some aerial flood advisories for West Tennessee and portions of Arkansas. This is going to be the same system that we approaching our area going into the later afternoon hours into tomorrow that could bring us some potential for severe weather. Now current winds are relatively to be light out of the south. But they are beginning to pick up in portions of Louisiana and winds will slowly begin to increase overnight tonight. Current temperatures right now mainly in the lower 70s, but it's lower 60s up towards the north. 64 for Clarksdale, 74 for Jackson, 76 Vicksburg. It's 72 degrees right here in Greenville. Now we did break a record over in Greenwood. The high temperature was 82 degrees, which surpassed the temperature of 81 degrees, which was the record set all the way back to 1951. And we tied a record here. It was 1984 was the last time we were this warm and going into the New Year's Eve. It's warm is definitely probably an understatement at this point. Pretty much the entire southeastern part of the country has been above average. But we do have a lot of strong southerly flow and low pressure will begin to form up towards the north, bringing with it a cold front that will bring a line of potentially severe storms going into the afternoon and evening hours. This is Saturday about 5 o'clock as that system begins to make its way into the Delta area. And once that cold front passes, we're expecting a good slew of Arctic air to move into our area, which will drop temperatures down to below freezing with the possibility of some snowflakes in the northern Delta. Now going through that tomorrow, this is about 4 o'clock. The line begins to form in central Arkansas. Be slowly making its way into the northern delta around Clarksdale. We'll be mostly clear in the south delta, but once we go throughout the afternoon hours and evening, we'll expect widespread potential scattered and severe thunderstorms across the area. So it's going to be a weather active day. So be sure to plan out your day tomorrow. Around the afternoons when we'll start to see some patchy thunderstorms begin to develop. Temperature will be about 77 degrees by 6 o'clock. We'll reach a temperature about 70 and around 6 is when we really expect the highest impact for potential severe weather. We are under an enhanced risk for portions of the Mississippi. It does include the entire Delta News viewing area, portions of eastern Arkansas, Tennessee, and northern central Alabama. Now as far as what impacts we could see, mainly damaging wind gusts and the possibility for large hail are the main fa factors that we're looking at. Flash flooding, not expecting a whole lot out of that. That's going to be mainly up to, to the north in portions of Arkansas and Tennessee. Now, the tornadic threat, it is a possibility, probably about a four out of five. So definitely a severe day. So be sure to have all your devices charged up. Have your tornado safe plan ready. Remember, if a tornado warning is issued, to seek shelter immediately. You can go to an interior room or a basement. Somewhere underground are the best places. And as always, have multiple ways to receive weather information as they are issued. Once we get past Saturday, we are expected to drop to a high of 39 on Sunday with the possibility of some snowflakes and winter precipitation. Not expecting a whole lot. The accumulations will be light, not expecting any winter impacts. Lows, lows mainly tonight, mainly in the upper mid 60s, but 70 expected for Indianola down to the south, Chula and Yazoo City. Highs tomorrow, mainly upper 70s, but we could see some 80s down towards the south, 80 for Chula, 80 Yazoo City. We could be right at or even break some records here in the Delta tomorrow. Now, tonight here in Greenville, expecting a glow of 70. Thunderstorms will be possible overnight tonight with increasing cloud cover once we begin to pick up out of the southwest 10 to 50 miles per hour. Once we get past Sunday, again, not expecting a whole lot as far as winter weather, but we could see a few snowflakes in the northern delta, but no actual impacts from the winter weather. Expecting sunny skies Monday to Tuesday with potential of rain returning going to Wednesday and Thursday of next week.